Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. We have four stories for you this week. Sonex Sierra Hotel High Wing is available in, well, a lot of different configurations. Uh, the Nepal crash has an update, and then pilots were able to escape a fire bomber crash that was really, really lucky. And then the FAA proposes a $1.1 million fine against United Airlines. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is the Sonex High Wing aircraft, which is a kit aircraft, uh, which will be offered as both a tricycle landing gear and a traditional landing gear uh, aircraft to build yourself. Uh, there's various different engines available from 80 to 130 horsepower, as you can see in the following graphic right here. Uh, the release specs include a 26 wings, 26 foot wingspan, uh, 1,320 pounds of maximum gross takeoff weight, and then a stall speed as low as 40 knots, which is pretty cool. Uh, the interior mock-ups show different options using either a center stick or a dual stick configuration. Uh, according to the AvWeb article that we read, uh, we could actually see a prototype at uh, Air Venture 2023 uh, where we will actually be. So hopefully you can, you guys can be there and then meet us uh, over there. All right, your second story this week is a bit of a sad one. This is an update on the Nepal Yeti uh, crash that happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, we reported on that. You may have seen videos videos of the aircraft kind of losing altitude and then eventually crashing, killing everybody on board. Uh, the preliminary investigation suggests that uh, the instructor pilot that was on board the aircraft and the one flying the um, uh, monitoring the aircraft may have uh, ac accidentally feathered the propeller uh, instead of actually actuating the flaps, which is a big, big mistake. Uh, the quote is that at uh, 10.56.27, uh, the pilot flying disengaged the autopilot at an altitude of 721 feet above the ground, and then he called flaps 30 at 10.56.32, and then the pilot monitoring replied, flap sturdy and descending. Uh, the report said that the flight data recorder uh, did not record any flap surface movement at that time, which means that they didn't really move that control. And then instead, the propeller rotation speed of both engine decreased uh, at the same time to less than 25% of, and the torque decreased to 0%. Uh, which would indicate that they instead feathered the propellers, uh, which puts them in the condition where they create no thrust. So when the propellers are fe uh, feathered, there is uh, no thrust at all, which means that uh, in this case, the aircraft would have uh, crashed. Very, very sad. Um, I I'm sure we'll hear more when the final report is submitted, but this looks like uh, it's what happened. And your third story this week is a happier one. Uh, the pilots of a 737 fire bomber uh, were able to escape a crash unscathed in Australia. Uh, there is a big wildfire going on right now uh, over there, and the aircraft uh, is uh, operated by Colson Aviation, uh, had done a bunch of uh, flights over a specific fire, and then the aircraft descended and crashed into flat terrain, uh, eventually burst into flames. Both of the pilots were able to escape and they were transported to a hospital via helicopter. Uh, it's pretty rare that we see crash, especially for large aircraft like this, and people making it out. So um, they, they were lucky that day. Uh, the aircraft was completely destroyed by the uh, post-flight fire after that. And then the last story this week is the FAA that is proposing a $1 million fine uh, against United Airlines for not performing maintenance. Uh, to be more precise, the FAA is fining United for flights on uh, Boeing 777s between uh, June 2018 and April 2021 uh, due to United removing what's called a fire system warning check uh, from the aircraft pre-flight checklist. Uh, that inspection is required as part of the maintenance specification manual uh, by removing those checks it meant that those United 777s were actually not considered to be airworthy uh, for all of these flights. So uh, big yikes on whoever made that decision. Uh, I'm sure uh, they're, well, I'm sure they're not going to have a job by the end of all this. All right. And then lastly, if you haven't already, make sure that you check out the latest adventure video that we made called the $500 pie. Uh, we flew to Payson to get the uh, their world famous pie. Uh, we may actually have gotten even more than one. Uh, it's a fun short flight from Prescott and we recorded all of it. Uh, also, we recently flew to a tiny airport on the north side of the Grand Canyon. Be make sure that you check out the video uh, for more information about how to fly uh, in that part of the country, which is uh, pretty specific. There are some very specific uh, procedures. All right. That's all I have for you. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.